Hi guys, Godot announced a new download for version 3.0, the Alpha 2, that includes support for C Sharp. All you have to do is to visit this news page with the latest dev snapshot. I added the link to the description below, but before you have to download and install the Mono framework for your particular OS, mine is Windows 64 bit. After that, I download the Mono version of Godot 3.0 Alpha 2 and unzip it. Great, now I double click the executable to open Godot and choose to create a new project. Then I define a name for this and also create a separate folder. Alright, then I switch to 2D and add a new root node for my scene. And then I add a child node of type sprite. And let's call this head because I'm going to use the Godot head bitmap for my sprite. Okay, I will move this sprite to the center. And after that I attach a new script to the sprite and you can see that c -sharp is available as a language. Select c -sharp and press create. Now the c -sharp script opens and there is the underscore ready method that is called once for initialization. You can create typed variables now and use excess modifiers like private or protected everything .NET offers. I start the project now, then we have to save our current scene. And here's the sprite. Nice. But what Godot creates for us is a .NET solution that we can open for example with Visual Studio. You can use the built-in editor for editing your c -sharp scripts as well, but you don't have IntelliSense. You see this here when I use the method getNode. It is highlighted, but there is no IntelliSense. That's why I opened the solution with Visual Studio 2017 now. And here we can use all the shortcuts like uncommenting with Ctrl, K and U, or the IntelliSense for the c -sharp language and the Godot assembly. I will make use of this here in the process method that is called for every frame to implement a logic to resize the sprite. First I check if the up or down key is released and on up I will increase the size of the sprite with the scale method and on down I decrease the size again. You can also use refactoring methods like the rename for the variables here which can be very comfortable. Please keep in mind that this is an early alpha development stage of Godot 3.0. That's why I work around here with a Visual Studio that I opened separately. In future versions of Godot, I think features like IntelliSense for c -sharp will be integrated into the built-in editor. When I return to Godot, you can see that the c -sharp script is updated and we can start the project. And when I press now the up or down keys, the sprite is resized as expected. Alright guys, that's it for the Godot 3.0 Alpha 2 update. If you like this video and my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new tutorials are online. Think about supporting me on my Patreon cause that will help a lot. Thanks for watching this and see you soon.